The boat that's right behind you is a Pursuit ST310. It is a big boat. So you can do straight down dives. The roominess of these boats, they're very well thought out. Check this out! <laughs> this is called Flyboard! David Levesque with AtTheBoatShow.com. I'm here in the Pacific Northwest at the Seattle Boat Show. This place is amazing. It's the largest boat show on the West Coast. I'm actually inside CenturyLink Field right now, home of the hopefully soon to be world champion Seattle Seahawks. Yay. I'm walking around looking for really cool stuff here at the boat show to bring back to you, the viewers. I had to stop and see this thing. This is called a Helicat. I'm here with Sandy. Sandy, how you doing? Good. Sandy's with Helicat. Helicat's out of Tacoma, Washington. I'm looking at this thing and I'm thinking it's a spy machine. And right here it says, unleash the 007 in your soul. So I had to stop and talk to Sandy. Sandy, tell me about this amazing, amazing boat. Well, the short version is it's a cool looking catamaran. It's built for rough water. It, uh, besides looking cool, attracting a lot of attention wherever we go, whether that be at the, on the trailer at the gas pump or at the dock or out in the water, obviously it attracts attention. But I also like to say it's not just another pretty face. It uh, does 30 miles an hour in white caps at five miles to the gallon and nobody can claim really anything close to that. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. That is really crazy. So I'm looking at this, I mean, being an outsider, I'm walking in here, I'm thinking a helicopter sat on top of a couple of times too. That's, I mean, this is just absolutely amazing. Yeah. I mean, this is, this, is, this, is, this is like an ultimate and just have fun on the water, right? Exactly. Yes. Um, the, you know, a lot of people first thought is it flies. It doesn't fly. It's a catamaran. But um, it obviously looks cool. Am I going to feel like I'm flying though when I'm going up this thing? Well, what's the top you can, speed on this? 45. Okay. So it's you know it's fast, but that's not the fastest boat around. But doing 30 in white caps, and you know I'm 61. I can tolerate that. Okay. You know it's not an it's, it's not slam bam that I won't tolerate because I've driven 150 boats, uh, most of them trailer bowl in this size range, and it's the best for care handling rough water. And, you know, so it's a combination of lightweight, fuel economy, and rough water capability. And I think it comes in multiple colors. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, we, yeah, we, we're waiting for the order that comes in blue and lime green with a number 12 on it. Oh, I, I think that's that has common. to happen. That'd be so sweet. I bet you Marshawn Lynch picks that one up. Yeah. And I can say that because I'm from Buffalo and he used to play from. Anyway, so... Um, well, I went to uh, Cal Berkeley, which is where he was. That's right. He there was there, wasn't he? So, you're going to be down at the Seattle Boat Show. Inside Century League Field, the Seahawks are in the Super Bowl this year. You got a Helicat. I mean, this is just amazing. So, if I can't make it to this show, and shame on me because this place is freaking amazing, how do I find out about this product? Helicat.net, the website. That's it. All the videos, prices, specs, all on the website. Now, I want to go back to the whole spinning thing because. You know, I'm, a, I'm the kind of guy that likes to flip stuff over. Can I flip this over if I'm, go, if I'm spinning? I've tried. Around? You try, can't do it. No, I can't even lift a hull even close to out of the water. All right, well, let me tell you where that, I'm that's going. That's at 45 this. miles an hour, steering hard over. You know, it lifts the hull just a little bit, leans out a little bit. That's you're not you're not flipping this over at all. Well. People ask, what kind of water can it handle? There is a wave too big for any boat. A destroyer. You heard it here first. A destroyer in World War II, 600 feet long, broke in half. So there's a wave too big for any boat. Wave too big for any boat. So I asked that question because does it have a cup holder? It does. It comes you with a cup, to have a cup holder. You sure. got to have a cup and holder. It, uh, Soda will stay, or whatever you've got in Soda. your cup, will stay <laughs> yeah. in the cup because it's really pretty stable. I'm 270 pounds and I can stand right here. You normally don't stand on the bow of a 22 foot boat because the boat becomes unstable. But I've done it at, and I'll do it in Miami for you in two weeks. We'll see you in Miami. So, Seattle Boat Show, you saw it here, Helicat, helicat.net. Yep. It's out of Tacoma, Washington. Sandy? 
This is awesome, man. All right, this is thanks. Awesome. Seattle Boat Show, get down here, check it out. CenturyLink Field, sitting in a Hellicat. We will see you at the Boat Show.